Hey guys, John Trousdale here with Power Auto Media at the SEMA show. I'm here with Larry and Matt. We're in the TMI booth and we're here to talk about Champion Cooling Systems. Now, first things first, this booth is full of a bunch of beautiful cars, a bunch of very cool Tri-5s. One of them belongs to you, Larry, and we're standing in front of it. Tell me about this build. When did you get it? When did you start? I actually purchased it about a year ago, and it took about three months to build it. And uh, we did it for the scene to debut all of our new interiors that we do. Okay, so three-month build into this, that kept you busy? Absolutely. I haven't had a day out for a long time. Very nice. Now it's got some it's got some uh, some siblings next to it, but I notice in all these Tri Fives, there's one component that doesn't change. Champion Cooling Systems. Yep. Now, why is it that Champion Cooling Systems are found in all your all your cars here? Well, for the first reason is is that ease of installation. So when I contacted Matt about it, told him what I was trying to do, what was existing out there, and stuff, he's like, I got the solution for you. Nice, easy. Use your existing radiator core support and stuff without changing everything over. That's what sold me on it. Right, you're trying to stuff a much bigger motor under the hood here, so you needed to create some room. Yeah, exactly, and that's the nice part about it. When I call over there, I spec out what I'm trying to build and everything, and he knows exactly what I need to do. So what was the challenge you were trying to get around? Break it down for folks who, who aren't standing here by the motor. One of the biggest problems is, is that you have to change your core support with the other companies, which is a lot of work. Change the core support just to fit the radiator in there. Where this one, you use the existing one. You know, it needs a large radiator for the, super, for the horsepower that we're running in these cars. Have you put this thing on the dyno? You know what it's pushing? We know it's around 600. It hasn't been on the dyno yet, but it's going on the dyno next week. Oh boy, we'll, we'll stay tuned for more news on that. Now, Matt, I want, to, I want to ask you some questions about the radiators themselves and the work you did to stuff these into these cars. Tell me a little bit about the specific challenges you had with this build and, and how you worked around it for these Tri-5s. Well, on most of the Tri-5s, as you can see here, the challenge is when you add, uh, like this has a pro charger on it with the serpentine system that moves it off of the motor, you run out of room between the motor and the core support, so the radiator has no room. So we have to take the radiator, move it to what we call the six-cylinder position, which is on the, the grill side of the core support. And once we figured that one out to be able to get it into a bolt-on application to be able to fit into the slot, then it makes it a lot easier for these guys to be able to put the larger motors, such as uh, the LSs or, or a big 350 Chevy with the, the charger on it. It's, you just get more room, so you can work around it. So we've got the three Tri-5s lined up here. They were great guinea pigs for this radiator application, but you do custom work or, or like semi-mod work for other vehicles as well. The custom shop that we have at Champion Cooling, we've been making radiators going all the way back into the 20s and 30s now. We've done stuff for Hudson's and Packard's and going into the 30 Chevy. So if you have something out there, just send it to us, call our fabrication department, and we can work with them and try to make something that fits into their vehicle that we don't make currently. Well, with how clean this build came out, I think that your phone is probably going to be ringing off the hook. So if they can't catch you on the phone, where can they find you online? ChampionCooling.com. ChampionCooling.com. Larry, Matt, thanks for having us out. And I want you guys to stay tuned because there's a lot more great stuff coming your way from SEMA.